It's been quite challenging, and the other interesting thing about it has been the fact that we're looking at the paintings completely anonymously, so we don't know who has made the paintings. Sometimes we have a pretty good idea, but we're not always absolutely certain. And it has, I think, meant that we've had to be very objective about each piece that we look at. And of course there are five judges, and we were expecting some kind of consensus at this stage. It hasn't happened yet, but I think there will be uh, in the process of looking at uh, today, looking at the works again today, we will begin to thrash out a kind of um, shape for the show. Um, I've been to the John Moores and been rejected from the John Moores many times myself, and I know exactly what each artist who enters feels like. Nobody enters not if not expecting, at least hoping to do very well. And you do wait for the letter to come through with a great deal of apprehension. And I do remember waiting myself and uh, thinking, surely there's been some mistake when the rejection letters have come. So I know what it means to each artist, and I'm very aware of that uh, at this stage of the judging. I think looking at so many applicants, it would be very easy just to go for the things you recognize. Um, so you have to be on your toes all the time to try and find those works which are outside your own taste or outside your own comfort zone and to recognize them for what they are. So it doesn't just become an exhibition about your taste but much more about the broad spectrum of painting and what painting can mean for different people. It's so subjective that one can't expect anything except a subjective response from the judges and hope for the best.